Yeah, that's correct, Gene. On our way down here, we saw one car off the road, and we're continuing to hear reports on scanners of other vehicles and other accidents. Just before 5 a.m., the plows were no longer plowing snow. Instead, they were pushing back the slush on the Everett Turnpike. The traffic backing up behind them, but for the most part, traffic was lighter than normal. In Bedford, the snow had turned to sleet that continued to fall throughout the morning. That sleet continuing to coat the roadways, making for some slippery conditions, as evidenced by this accident. While there wasn't much snow that fell, Tom Gusty was out taking care of what had fallen, the sleet making it a little tougher. A little layer of ice underneath it, so uh, you just gotta scrape that up before you can actually lift the snow. But clearing the snow wasn't the only thing he was dealing with. I had a heating pipe break yesterday, and uh, so there's no heat in my house at the moment. <laughs> Around the corner, his neighbors were also hard at work. Don LaSalle says the snow was stuck to the ground, so he was finding it hard to shovel. But he does have these words of advice for people shoveling. A little bit at a time, the only way you can do it. As you take a live look at the Everett Turnpike, you will be able to see that the traffic is moving, but the roads are also a little wet there. And bear in mind, too, the temperatures are below freezing. So keep that in mind if your plans call for traveling this afternoon. That's the situation here in Merrimack for a look at what's happening a little bit further north in the Concord area. Want to check in now with Troy Lynch. Troy? Yeah, right. Thanks so much. Obviously, we have not been able to see any car crashes, and that is a good thing here in the capital city right now. But the plowers, they've been hard at work all morning long. The temperatures have been in the mid 20s, and they've seen a few inches of snow overnight and into the morning. I want you to take a look behind me. That is all the snow that was pushed out. Now, take a look below me. There's barely any snow at my feet. Now, if we take a look at the average winter snow, it's normally they get about 67 inches. However, as of Tuesday, the city has only seen about 34 inches. Now, there's still plenty of time to get that snow total up. However, it was just a regular snowy morning for some granite staters and people like Charlie Cole. It was just another day for him. He got to get his morning routine in. He got his coffee and he also took his dogs, Lily and James, out for a walk because that's just what they do. And apparently the dogs love it. Is this perfect dog walking weather? No, no, it's not. No, and I'm a new, from New Hampshire, so uh, born and raised. I complain about weather no matter what, but we can't complain this year. Has it been that bad? No, no. Is it nice to finally see a little bit of snow? No, I'm over it. <laughs> I love Charlie's honesty there. I mean, we only he only tells the truth and so do we. And the truth is that the road conditions, yeah, still a little slick, but luckily we haven't seen any car crashes. Like I said before, the plowers on both the sidewalks and the roads have done a fantastic job to make sure all vehicles, bicyclists and walkers can feel safe when they're going through the capital city. Live here in Concord, Troy Lynch, WMUR News 9.